Little doggy's looking good, huh? Nice and stable. That's what I like to see. So many people wonder what it's like to be a veterinarian. And so I'm going to bring you through my day. And today I'm on surgery, and so we are going to have a few procedures today. Some of them are elective procedures, and some of them are not elective procedures in patients that really need some treatment. So we'll kind of go through that as the day moves forward, and uh, we're going to start off with one elective procedure, and that is called an ovarian hysterectomy, and that is also known as a dog spay. So we'll get started here. Thank you. Ovarian hysterectomy, aka dog spay. Eyelid tumor removals, both eyes. Random turkey. Rat tumor removal. Rabbit dental. Huh. Exploratory celiotomy. And you're just plain naughty. Wrapping up with our first procedure, the spay. And just taking out the final bit of uterus here. Check for bleeding. Looks like we're good. Alright. And there you have it. Nice little dog uterus. Isn't that fabulous? Set that aside for later. And we're going to go ahead and close this pup up. Thank you. For our next procedure, we are doing an eyelid mass removal. Can you see that mass right here? Really extends into the conjunctiva behind the lid. And so that can cause corneal irritation to the surface of the eye. So what we're going to do is remove that. And this dog actually has a little one on this side too. I don't know if you can see that little guy. I'm going to take that off too. So, we'll see you in a second. So here are tumors, here's from this side, here's from the right eye. And here's the final product. That mass is gone, we just got a couple sutures in there. Kind of same story on this side. And um, ideally when you close them, you want it to look like there was never even any surgery there. You just get those lids kind of right lined up next to each other. Mass removed. And another mass removed over here. We are about to do a couple of mammary mass resections on a female rat. And these masses are quite common in rats. They're usually benign. You don't really know until you get them off and submit them for histopathology. And so here's, here's one of the bigger ones. You can see here's our very large rat. So that is the next one on the docket. We'll be working on it right now. Thank you. So here is our surgery site for our first two tumors. And we're kind of right in this area. And then our tumor in the back end, which is kind of right here. And we're done with surgery, so we're going to wake up and move on to the next procedure. Rabbit dental time. So we're working on a bunny dental. We need to use some fun instruments. So this basically retracts the jaws, the upper and lower jaws. This guy spreads the cheeks apart. And then use a dental probe and use curved hemostats to kind of look at the teeth. And removing problem teeth, I really just use hemostats. It's pretty simple. Um, in terms of the instrumentation for a procedure like this. But this guy's had chronic dental disease and it's a very common issue in bunnies. And um, every once in a while they usually need to have their teeth trimmed for the rest of their lives once, once chronic malocclusion or chronic dental disease starts. So we're going we're gonna to finish up with him and move on to the next one. But uh, things are going okay so far. Alright, so we just opened up our last uh, surgery for the day, and that was the Salomic Explorer for this little bearded dragon, and uh, unfortunately things aren't, aren't quite what I wanted, to tell you the truth. So I'm just going to pull out, these are her fat bodies, those are normal. Well, that one's kind of normal. This one actually has what's called a steatitis, and that's inflammation of fat. But her biggest concern 
is actually this is a liver, believe it or not. And so liver, we want to look like liver color, like a you know kind of a maroonish liver color. And this is a pale, pasty white, very sad looking liver. And so we knew her liver values were a little elevated going into the surgery, but I, I didn't realize that you know she, her liver was in this much, in this bad a shape. So the sad thing is, there's not much we can do. We don't have liver transplants in lizards, and we don't really have any options medically that are realistic for this bad of liver. So unfortunately. The most humane thing to do is actually just euthanize this pet because she's just going to suffer for another week or two if we pull her out of surgery, if she makes it with the, with the drugs that we've had to use today. And, um, and it's just not going to be a good quality of life, so we're going to do the most fair thing. So, hope you guys enjoyed what you saw today. You have an idea of what it's like to be a veterinarian on a surgery day. Pretty exciting, it can be pretty stressful at times. Um, I think overall everything turned out okay today, given given the circumstances, especially with this poor lizard. But um, very interesting day. It keeps it exciting, and uh, I'm very fortunate for what I get to do. And thanks for watching.